Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man, codingface.com. Today we're going to talk about, you know, just online IDs, you know, stuff like Cloud9, stuff like Cold Sandbox, a couple of other ones that you probably haven't heard of. No excuse for you guys to not be able to code. I mean, yeah, you could do it on your computer, but what if you are somewhere where you like hey man I don't have a setup like you know for my Mac or I don't have a setup for my Windows I don't have a setup for Linux I don't have a setup for etc right whatever you use right you could come over here and be using a Android little laptop you know a Chromebook nowadays you can use all of that you know cuz pretty much just code online on a browser and I won't even lie to you guys sometimes it might be even better alright cuz I've seen a lot of cool editors are popping up now that are legit like they have like all the things that you would expect from an IDE and probably even a little bit more you know so it's pretty cool I like to see where this is going I love MacBooks I love my Mac I love what I have but somebody was telling me that you know at some point and from the likes of the things that we've seen so far from Apple. Apple might be switching up to iOS. So they might have all of their new products, like let's say the MacBook Pro, they're trying to get rid of it, they're trying to get rid of the iMacs. Like they haven't created anything for the Mac Pro in I don't know how long. Cause it's like, most people all they care about is their phones and their tablets. So they're probably thinking like, hey man, what if we just make everything iOS? You know what I mean? And of course that will pretty much X out all the professionals cuz I don't even know how much stuff can you really do on an iOS device you know what I mean like a tablet right but nowadays with this new text editors on the browsers then that saves you all that drama of like oh my god Apple is dropping the Mac OS you know if they drop it hey we got the you know text editor IDs and pretty much you could spin up a your own server from there like there's so many cool stuff that's happening you know I'm just gonna talk about it and show you a couple of them hey guys so this is cold tasty this seems like the most legit out of all of them to be honest with you guys because it really feels like a native IDE you could literally just come in drag things around you see your file a tree right here you have your debugging tools you have you know your settings on the side and what's cool about this is this is perfect for a situation for let's say you're using you know the Chromebooks like this is the most perfect one for you guys okay of course they have a free version so all of you guys can literally come here sign up try this out see how it is see if you like it you know I don't know this guys I don't get no commissions to these people but this seems the most legit one then from there you got codesandbox.io completely free this is like let's say you want to come in and, and create like a quick uh, react app or you want to create something and share it with your friends automatically see like this has the you know react router um, it basically can pull any NPM package that you could think of. So pretty much you have all the libraries to your disposal. It's like, it's up to you what you want to do with it, you know? So this one's one of the most legit ones too. I love this one because I can create something here, share it to somebody and they could even download it or edit it or, you know, they could just fork it to their own code sandbox. So this is pretty legit. Okay, there's another one which it has free features, right? So it's free, but I believe, uh, let me see, this one's called codeanywhere.com. You got a uh, free one for each user, and then from there, everything you need to get um, to get started. Um, now, for seven dollars, you could connect to. Uh, 50 FTP server so pretty much you could literally come in and connect to your servers directly from here and start editing 
your websites from here so this is cool this is great for people working on wordpress and and things like that so it's pretty legit um then you have this other one called stackblitz.com this one's pretty legit too you know you can come here and click on any of these applications and automatically loads it up for you this one is actually built to be like vs code so all the features that vs code has they have it which is cool because it's like wait on the browser and you're like yeah <laughs> on the browser <laughs> it's like you have vs code on the browser so they built it exactly like it even the the styles and everything i wish they wouldn't have done that because if you're gonna create something create it original you know you know me i'm i'm all about originality but you know for a lot of people they like to see something familiar so here you go okay then of course you got the og triple og um repl.it i love this because this here you have a whole bunch of languages it's not just the front end it's not just javascript it's like hey man you could come here create a new repl and then from there choose from any of the languages as you can see python 3 ruby javascript html css javascript so you could literally come here and create a full web page and even multiple files so you could come here and create a whole website just from here you got scheme you got c sharp java react native you got c closure uh, c sharp f sharp go haskell java kotlin php python uh ruby rust my god es6 coffee script roy um what else if you want to try out some testing you got jess you got uh you know the classical ones you know the old school ones so yeah man like you can't go wrong with repl.it but repl.it is not a ide this one's right here and and this one right here they're both ides meaning you get you get all the cool stuff like you know uh, syntax highlighting and all the cool stuff that you get from any ide but if you want to create something here and and do something i don't know like a you know just to practice your code or you know create something like an algorithm or you just want to practice your code you know you could just literally come here and be like hey you know a hundred times like this is ruby so it's like a hundred times do and then come here put the end and then put what's good coding phase subs <laughs> and that's it there you go something simple something easy like you could come here and, and literally create something more complex it's up to you like this thing could, you could create multiple files like this is not just like just this code here you could create a full application on this website okay it's all up to you what you want to create all right guys so i'll see you guys later and i just want to remind you guys we're about to be in 2018 you know for those of you guys that haven't tried the website codingface.com and haven't checked it out learn everything that you need i'm not here to waste your time and right now we basically we about to bring back the 65 percent off on everything you know it's a three-day thing you know it's from today all the way to the 1st of January, on the 1st of January, 12 o'clock, 12 a.m. is gone. So I'm usually going to do this type of specials, like a 65% off, uh, probably like three, four times a year. Usually it's going to be in the 1st, in the beginning, somewhere around like, you know, May, around there. Another time I might do it at the end of August, and then I'll probably do it again in november so it's like four times a year that i'm doing it so if you're watching this video and you want to use this code get 65 percent off and go try it out man you know give it a chance see if it works for you a lot of people have been hitting me up they're getting jobs they you know they're getting into the industry they're not wasting time so you know i just come in create content for you guys and, and you know give you everything that i know you know i can only do that for you all right 
but it's up to you if you really want to do this and, and just go hard and, and, and work on it. You know, this is not something that is going to happen from one day to the other. I'm not here to give you guys uh, false hope and tell you, hey man, this thing is the easiest thing in the world. No, you have to put in the hours. You have to put in the work. You can't just show up and, and just do this like as a hobby. It's just, they it'll stay as a hobby forever, right? I've seen it done. I've seen people like, hey man, I'm doing this for two, three years, man. I've been learning for two, three years. It's like, bro, if you're still learning in two, three years, that means you, you haven't been doing anything. Guys, this yeah. video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website, codingface.com. All right, go check us out. Peace.